Hello Mountain Song Community School. Here is a little tutorial on how to fold a basic Windows star. The materials you need will be a glue stick. Do make sure that it is tacky and ready to do its gluing job. You will need eight squares of wax kite paper. You could actually use any type of paper, computer paper, um, maybe some painted watercolor paper, um, but today what we're going to be learning on is the wax paper. So taking your square pieces, the first thing you do is fold it in the diagonal corner to corner. Take your time with this. The closer you can get the corners and edges aligned, the more precise your window star will be. So after we fold it diagonal from corner to corner, we're going to fold up the lower edge to align with the center fold. Before pressing the crease, make sure things are aligned. Here comes another, the second lower edge folded up to align. Let's do that again, shall we? So corner to corner. Lifting the lower edge up, finding the point. And this one I think I can do a little better. So I'll make that small adjustment. And our last of eight folds. Bring the bottom edge up. Right. So now that we have our eight pieces we can begin gluing. Now I want to note that the part we will be gluing is the wider edge of these diamond shapes. It is nice, in my opinion, to find the pattern in which you want to do your colors before you begin gluing. So you don't have to sort it through with possible sticky fingers as you're doing this part. So this is the order that I would like to put them in. Now if I were working with fewer than eight colors, perhaps I could find a pattern of four colors. So I'm starting with the blue. What we will be doing is gluing these sections overlapping each other. So we align the points at the center and aligning this right edge with the center fold when we put these together. Now, you could work, I'm going to work counterclockwise, you could work clockwise by using the right side of the underlayer and work around this way. Using my glue stick, the first thing I do is open the upper flaps and put one line of glue refolding, making sure we stick true to our initial, our initial alignment. I add glue to the lower left side as that's the side of the lower piece I'll work with. Align the tip of the diamonds together and following this lower edge of the green along the fold of the blue. So I turn it, I open the green, add one pull of blue glue, laying the flaps down, securing those creases, and I'm on to the next one.
Now, I'm down to my last two pieces. I want to adjust this one just a little bit because I really do want it aligned with the all of the center points as best I can, but also with the red center fold. See how these edges are gonna match up here? our purple, our final and eighth piece going on. We are going to want to lift the blue, which was our first section, just slightly fold it up. The purple is going to rest here at the pink, and then after all is glued, we will fold down the blue piece to overlap as such. So careful here not to get the glue on the back side of the blue quite yet. glued. Purple is aligned. Steady goes. Open the flap. And now we are ready for our last bit of glue. I want to set this aside while <clears throat> the glue dries. So here's our first example of a window star. Our next star, we're using still eight pieces. This particular style has one extra fold. It's still quite simple and easy to put together. This star, we're using four colors, pink, red, orange, and yellow. You could use all eight colors, as in this one. You could even use two and alternate the colors round. Today, because I have extra of these, I'm going to use these four colors and alternate them. For this one, again, we start with folding on the diagonal. So we fold from corner to corner. Now what we want to do is fold to the center, but we need to know where center is. So rotating the square, bringing up the other corners together. Be careful here, do not make a crease all the way. We're just making a small center crease. Where the two creases intersect is our center. So now we can fold up the corner to the center line and make our crease and fold down the corner to the center line and make our crease. The second fold, we bring one of the lower edges up to the center crease or the center fold. And then we bring the next edge up to that center fold. And this is our repeat that we'll do.
Oh, I lost my thought. I made a crease all the way through. But fear not, I will not fret. I will keep on moving. And still make good use of this piece of paper. Origami paper would look beautiful with these stars as well. If you use a more opaque paper where less light shines through but maybe it has a beautiful pattern on one side, these could make lovely wall decorations as well. Keeping my mind about me this time, not making a full crease but just at the center. So now we have our beautiful colors. Deciding on which pattern you'd like it to be. Again, we're going to be gluing the larger angle ends together. You could keep colors side by side all the way around. You can alternate the colors, choosing the own pattern that you'd like. I think I'll do it this way. So completing this all the way around. And again, I do this so that I can glue them easily in the order that I have chosen. Now, each time I begin a new piece, there are two things I want to do. One is to reinforce those creases. The second thing is, just like we did with the other star, we're going to put one line of glue down the center, and this helps to hold these points down at the top. All right, I am going to be working counterclockwise, aligning the corners and the center fold to this edge. Carefully pulling the glue stick down from top to bottom see how that light is shining through really nicely already. All right, here we come down to our last two pieces. happy with this top fold. I'm going to see if I can adjust it just a little bit. Okay, that makes me feel 
a little better. So our final piece rests under the first piece and over the seventh piece, like so. And it will lay about like this. So we lift up the first piece, folding it in. My fingers are definitely getting sticky now. Careful not to rip. Aligning our last pieces. All right. So here we have the second type of window star. Now this sometimes happens. You can see that it's a little bold. It does not lay flat. I'm not going to try and force it to lay flat by any means. It's because my folds were not exactly aligned and um, it made the angles come in a little smaller, but it's still beautiful. Our two stars for you. Thank you.